<laughs> hey guys. Hello. God is hanging out on the couch. <laughs> That's a, <laughs> oh, you've <laughs> caught me on the couch all alone. Is that too much? Is that too casual? That's too um, casual. Well, it's too something. <laughs> uh, we just wrapped up. Uh, we podcast. Just wrapped, yeah, we did the podcast. Yeah. So last week. So today is Wednesday. Yep, today is your, Wednesday. So your we could go to tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. So last podcast. Episode six. It's weird talking about the episode future. Episode six. Yes, it is weird. Both future and past. Yeah. But... No, it's fun. Like podcasts are always fun. I'm tired. I like it's late. It's like midnight. podcasts. I got to do. We hadn't done sports for a couple of weeks because there just haven't been sports that we care about. Nobody cares. So I was really excited to get to do sports because there was a lot of like chief stuff and yeah. uh, just general football talk. Like I got to give my my feelings on uh, the direction of the NFL. It got way deeper than I expected to, and I love it. I love like, it. Like it sounds like you talked about this. Like you actually went and like sat with Jim Nance and did. <laughs> No, it's an just interview like, about yeah. the NFL. I get it, but it's just funny I love to hear it. you talk about it's it. It's just fun. I I really enjoy analyzing football. And I like, like talking about football. Like it's one of my especially things. towards the end of last season, I felt like I was getting into it more than I've ever been. No, I mean it's and so it was fun to like talk about like oh all these teams going to the postseason. And I know what they yeah. I know what they are. I've been it's, watching them recently. Yeah, I mean it's gonna be awesome to be able to do that for like the whole year yeah. and like keep track of stuff. Like this year fun. was I felt more connected to NFL teams in general. Like knowing who was good. Like you know you've got that idea of like who usually the browns sucks, aren't right? good like browns suck like typically the panthers aren't good well oh, oh hold on good. now they are good but like, i mean this year they weren't good <laughs> are they um <laughs> but so you just you always have those teams that usually are good teams that are usually bad uh and so you can really tell when you're paying attention when you know the bad teams that are good this year there we go that's, that's what i was doing wrong like the vikings were for the first five games of the season they were five and oh and just killing it and then but well, turns out they're actually not a very good football team so we found that one out pretty quickly um <laughs> Yeah, I love talking about the NFL. It's it's just one of my things. I get if you're listening, uh, if you're over over the pond, is that what they call it? Pond? You guys yeah. call it? There's space between us and you. Oh. <laughs> space between us. Um, so I know so that the song there, in there. So why soccer is probably bigger for you. So Premier League's kicking into gear. Um, Actually, I think it's still football. I mean, it's f- football. Whatever. Football with you. It's not the original name or anything. It's stupid. No, I like watching Premier League. Um, I've got my son watching it every once in a while. Uh, if, <laughs> if he is cooperating choice. at that time, he's eighteen months old. Um, <laughs> it is fun. It, it's a good time. So what what's what's been going on with you this week? You you don't have the glasses on. <laughs> How night. much has been going on since yesterday? Right, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> we filmed, we shot the first like episode of what we're calling the couch. It has a name. We didn't yep. have a name for it yesterday, but we do today. We came up with a name for it after we shot it. So yeah. the thumbnail has a name. The episode has a name. Yep. But the actual video in itself does not have a name. We'll have an intro soon, maybe. Or maybe soon, not. Ish. Well, that's we actually what I was working on today. We haven't decided. <laughs> working on doing... Because I wanted to get into doing some more 3D stuff for my job. When It'll I do be graphic clip art. work. It'll be like the clip art bouncing around. Like in the old word, you remember? Actually, Like just... Whoosh. It'll be cool. Cube Success! transitions. Yes. Is what it'll be. It'll be every transition you can get in PowerPoint. Like cross weave. Did you shoot a hair tie? I did. Now my dog's gonna eat that, or my son's gonna eat that. Well, one of my them's over there asleep on the, the couch. Dog. The other one's asleep in a crib. You're assuming I'm gonna remember to get that. <laughs> no, somebody will remember. Your wife will see it in the morning and realize, oh, there's my hair tie. <laughs> I must have dropped it here. No, oh. I often do that. No, but I've still been working on doing 3D stuff, and I don't have a super power. Well, I have the most powerful computer that exists at my workplace. But it's still oh a mid twenty twelve MacBook Pro. Yep. So it's it's the nice MacBook Pro from twenty twelve. But it's kind of like saying it's a mid range s- notebook from twenty twelve. Some of it, well, no, it's actually it's a really good it, computer from have. then. Like I yeah. I have the nice one. Like that's true. That was before they started going they down in there. Beefed it before they bought it. So yeah. it was worth the money when they bought it. But the problem is, like you, <laughs> I kick on. I was just experimenting like with doing. Uh, you know, you see like text that pops up in frame and you can you know roll around it because it's a 3d object that exists inside of space for the program so i use after effects excuse me bless you but so basically you make the number and so like the number is a layer and then you have to put a camera layer so the cameras would actually see it so like mm. you overlay it on the actual video then the camera so you can look around it yeah and then a light that casts shadows yeah. on it to make it look cool right. so now my computer drop rend- shadows not quite like actual shadows. That's like shadows. the only term I know. I didn't actually save the video I was shadows. working on. That actually looked pretty cool. Mm-hmm. So it had two different shots of 
like a moving shot. So I I was working on trying to keep the number still in the frame, and I'm sure there's a way easy way to do it with tracking or whatever. But um, yeah, it was really cool. But the problem is like I hit like render, and it goes <laughs> <laughs> like 100 percent processing power yep. to render five seconds of video. Oh over yeah, over the course I mean, of it's... ten minutes. Yeah, that's why I'm excited for the PC we're building it because at, I want to see. Yeah, I want to see what you know, top of the line CPU kind of stuff is going. To I'm interested. At. Well, because like I know we don't, we won't move like our main editing to it because it's just it'd be kind of a pain. But <laughs> mainly because I'd have to pack up the desktop and take it with right. me. Right. I mean, it's a good, it's a decent. I mean, it's an. We'll give me a nice uh, editing laptop at some point. Yes, that's a, that's a little bit farther future, just because yeah. those are much more pricey. Um, it just in terms of what you need that yeah. also fits into a laptop comparatively. <laughs> um, so no, but it was funny, like it, in After playing. Effects, it shows you like how fast it's playing, like frame rate wise. Yeah. So over here, it says you know number of you know twenty nine point nine four frames. Yeah, and it was uh point two. <laughs> it was playing through the thing, right? Because it plays through it. As Tick. A, yep. That's awesome. Tick. That sounds about right. I mean, it's. It's mid twenty twelve laptop. I mean, you really should just be glad it can do any of the stuff you're trying to do. You know, it still runs really well. It handles everything else pretty decently. So we record sometimes, all of our audio. That's what we edit all of our videos yeah. on. Sometimes the rendering is a little slow, but I mean, it's nothing. It's not like what you would do if you had this this thing. No, no, it's not like this. I've got a uh, i five. I want to say it's fifth gen, but it was the dual core. Quad core is where it's at. That's it's it's gonna be awesome. Plus, this was this is like a home user laptop that I use for work because I don't need anything real fancy yeah. for it. Um, I actually I have the MacBook Pro back when it was actually built for professional users and not for Starbucks coffee girls. That's right. <laughs> so thanks, Tim Cook. Appreciate Thank all you. that. God, the but new MacBooks are just so stupid. I just don't. They're kind of cool. Like the Touch Bar is still really gimmicky. Yep. Like I was in Best Buy playing with the trackpad is like maybe three times the size of this trackpad roughly this big it's so big you use your whole face on it it's actually got a and it's the multi-touch cool, and interface so you can zoom in with your tongue and nose it just, mm, mm. what joke you're gonna go for yeah i mean it's what else would you do with your face on a touchpad let's be fair Nothing my face doesn't fit on this put one put your face on the touchpad <laughs> <laughs> yeah but like it's huge go it's got ahead. the like the whatever they're calling it the I think it's not called monthly touch or whatever. Like you generally press on it to click, but then if you press and hold on it, it pulls up options like the new iPhone does. Right. Like and it's not annoying touch. at all. The 3D touch. Right? It's terrible. I hate it. You do hate it? I hate it, it. Is it that 100%. Bad? No, because I used a buddy's laptop that had it on one of the like, small trackpads, and I was trying to like click and drag something, and I'm used to using a normal human trackpad that you click right. and drag with it, and I'm like trying to click on it. It's not doing anything. I'm like, dude, what's happening here? He's like, oh, it's the 3D touch thing, so you just got to gently touch on it. I'm like, that's stupid. He's like, yeah, I don't really like it that much either. Like, that's why. Why do I need that on my computer? Good thing you like, spent twenty five hundred dollars on right a laptop. Click. Oh. No, but like the touch bar is cool. Like you go into like your internet browser and it pops up and like there's your search bar. And so like instead of like you just like open it up, pop, type. Huh. So it's kind of it's got some cool like neat things. You know, to it's it. easier like to do. You put your like favorite. You had in there. a touch screen and then you could touch anywhere on the screen and start searching from there. Yeah, but That'd that gets cool expensive too. when you actually get into, like real powered computers. Oh. Not that the MacBook <laughs> is a real powered computer or cheap. I mean, it's still at the end of the day. I think we could get a nice touchscreen laptop with the same specs as the new MacBook Pros for like a thousand dollars less. <laughs> yeah. That's mostly because they put in it's mostly because way the below is spec equipment stupidly and then expensive. overcharge for it. I think it was like the only option with an i7 is the bigger 15 inch screen. Let's look. And I think it this starts casual show. I think it starts at like let's check it out. 2300 We have a buddy I would price out that works at Apple and he the computer that I would buy stuff. to yep. work on this stuff. So let's go to Mac. Yep. We're going to go to MacBook Pro. New. A touch of genius. It's practically magic. Mm. I just we'll go to buy. It. We're talk about like I used to do this for fun with the Mac Pros. Yep. I the, did too. The Mac Pro that I want is only twelve thousand dollars. I would usually bounce between the Mac Pro and, and fifteen inch because I'm not doing... a plebe. <laughs> All right, um, so we'd want touch the bar, touch ID. 2.7 gigahertz quad core. Ooh, in gray. Oh, space gray. So already it's $2,800. Okay, so, let's, so we've got the 2.7 gigahertz quad core i7, which is pretty standard for top end stuff. Turbo boost to 3.6 gigahertz. Uh, 16 gig of 2133 mem. Are you kidding me? 
2133 megahertz. Why even like try 512 gig PCIe based SSD? Okay, they got the PCIe, which is important. Radeon Pro 450. Oh my gosh. Are they even going to put in a video card at two gig of memory? Yeah, see, my video Four card. Thunderbolt ports, and we're at $2,800. He's old. And what do you got there? Uh, I have the Intel oh, HD. Have the Intel HD. Yeah, just the so built in. It's the fancy. I mean, Radeon Pro is good, but not if you want to do anything with it like exactly the you can go in because you can change some options (laughs) right so let's let's just see like that's just the the base of this twenty eight hundred dollars yep so i go up to the 2.9 gigahertz processor we're not messing around with this bad boy i think Um, the 512 gig pci yeah because i work off external drives all the time uh pro Um, 460 with four gig of memory hundred extra dollars now that's not an awful video card What's my options here? Oh my! Oh sweet. my goodness! There's backward my keyboards in 17 Jesus. different languages. Can we get the Norwegian? Is that going to be more expensive? Because no, they're all the same price. Oh, wow. Um, I don't use Final Cut Pro. I don't use Logic Pro. Hey, we Pro. could get Final Cut Pro for an absurdly large price to have a below average video editing software. It's actually all right, and that's pretty average price. So well, I just fine. paid monthly for mine because Adobe did that. I just Final Cut. Just after watching you, work I don't in Premiere like Final versus Cut that much. Working in Final Cut, personally, just, Final Cuts. It's basically the iMovie of video editing suites. It's, I mean, it's I mean, kind of a glorified iMovie, iMovie, but I know a lot of people like iMovie it has been HD. used to cut like full feature films. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm sure it's worth that kind of stuff, it. but it's just, I like Premiere better because it's, I think it's Premiere has a lot more flexibility, I would say. Yeah. I, so I'm completely guessing. Add to at this bag. Point, but. So now I'm going to have to buy all the accessories. Oh, don't forget warranty. Everything's you gotta get uh, that Apple Care. Thunderbolt 3. Right. So add four bag. Thunderbolt 3 ports. That's it. I need... Do you need a USB, USB, a USB adapter? I mean, they're only $9. You can't not get it. Ooh, a one meter USB-C to lightning cable. What's that in American length? A little it's over like three, three feet. feet. Yeah, I know. But <laughs> for the sake of... Actually, I need to get two of these. Yep. You do. Um... Um, you don't need a multiple adapter. Boy, when you've got multiple like lines need the Ethernet of adapter. adapters. Good news, Ethernet adapter. A common plug across the world for everyone is only $26. Only $26? Man, that's a deal. Hold on. Go back up for a second. Is that a Thunderbolt 3 to Thunderbolt 2? Ad- they couldn't even make Thunderbolt like stay the same port from each generation. Didn't they no, say... Th- I mean, this is Thunderbolt. This is USB-C. Is the new thing. I know. I'm just saying, didn't they say that Thunderbolt was going to be the end-all, be-all, and they would never have to change any ports again? Didn't they say that? They said you could use it for video and for audio and for I'm other one of these. things and power. Um. Nope, I don't want one of those mice. Nope. I think you're good with your current monitor. Well, I guess you don't really have one. Yeah, I don't personally own a I monitor. wouldn't buy them from Apple because I would want to get... like These are actually LG, though. No, no, Apple monitors. They don't make no, the Apple I mean, like, anymore. I wouldn't buy it from Apple because I'm no. sure there's tons of markup. Magic Mouse. <laughs> there you go. Need an SD card reader. Yep. Power adapter extend. Oh, so it's just oh, a longer extension. Because it only comes with a brick. Oh, right. That just plugs so straight into the that. wall. That makes sense. Give me a power adapter without an extension cord so I can sit four and a half inches away from any power outlet I go to. These uh, drives are actually pretty dope. Oh, yeah, the USB-C drives? Yeah, those little Porsche drives. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, they're good stuff. They're cool. I'd rather, at this point, just have an SSD in an external. Just yeah. get rid of all the issues. All right, review bag. I feel like we've got a good set of stuff here. Between, like, it's like, not the, been updated how many in adapters? real time. No, it doesn't. How we'll much, find out in just a second. How much is your... How many adapters did we end up getting? So I got one USB-C lightning cable because mm-hmm. I'm plugging my phone. Yep. Uh, I got a USB C USB ridiculous. adapter. I got two of those. Uh huh. So you can have real USB ports. Got yep. It. I got an Elf. I got a a uh, Ethernet adapter. Uh-huh. A uh, multi port adapter so I can plug HDMI to my monitor. Yep. Right. Because um, you know Thunderbolt. I got a uh, SD card reader. Uh huh. Because I need to get it for my camera and a power extension cable. So all in all, with Apple Care. With Apple Care. Don't I did forget. Get, that. I did get Apple Care. Um. So, all in all, it's thirty eight hundred sixty dollars and fifty six cents. <sighs> And we have a 500 gig hard drive. Yeah, that doesn't include the hard drives that I buy regularly to keep all of our footage on and footage Almost for my job. Four thousand dollars, and it's it, it's top ish line for it's higher end. It is like a high end, middle of the road laptop. <laughs> yeah, like I, the processor is as good as it's going to get. The video is okay. The memory is slow. You can't go past 16 gig of memory. Like, man, 2133. Like our our 
PC is going to have 2400. We're not even trying with that motherboard. Yep. <sighs> so, thanks a lot, Apple. Practically There's magic how much you can charge for so little. Practically magic how quickly Tim Cook is ruining oh, Apple. It is impressive. It takes talent to just literally ruin a tech giant. Yeah. So, I mean, that's been the show today. So, thanks for hanging out on a We Hate Apple. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I guess we'll maybe see you guys later. I don't know. You got to quit ending shows like that. <laughs> you say that like we're never going to make another episode. You're like, I don't know if we want to keep doing this. Uh. <laughs> thanks for hanging out, guys. Bye.